What's up everyone? Welcome to the Durbin Compound. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin. I'm here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. There is always a chainsaw around this. All right, so let's get down to the real reason why we're here. These Rock Rooster boots. Okay, these are the AP838s, this six inch wedge sole, soft toe, uh, leather boot. So that was a mouthful, six inch soft sole wet. I don't even remember what I said, but these are the six inch version of, I did another video on the eight inch version of this boot. Um, the eight inch version I absolutely love. It just comes up a little too high for me and it doesn't have this padding around the back. So um, it's kind of raw leather all the way up to the top. So a completely different boot, but still the same uh, theory. Um, so first thing I wanna say about Rock Rooster is that they are absolutely comfortable from day one. Like I've never had a boot that I put on my foot and it's comfortable from the minute I like literally lace it up. Um, I've never had a boot do that. I've had boots from Timberland Pro, Thoroughgood. I've, I've bought Red Wings and Ariats and just literally every boot you can imagine I've owned and I've had on my foot. So even stuff from Danner, I mean, I remember a pair of combat boots from Danner. They were so sweet and they were so comfortable, but I don't remember them being comfortable from the beginning. I had to break them in. You do not get that with Rock Rooster. For whatever reason, they have it, it, they have it hammered down. They are built for comfort. So their insoles are pretty impressive for a stock boot or, you know, uh, ba a basic boot or whatever you want to call it, a boot with no modifications, right? It's stock. So these uh, anti-fatigue, anti-microbial uh, insoles are awesome. I've noticed they added, they've added this stitching along the outside of the insole. Uh, they haven't had that in previous versions of the boot. Um, so I assume they have some fraying going on and they went ahead and had the, uh, you know, the uh, stitch put in around the outside, but pretty darn good insole for a stock boot. So uh, these bad boys are comfortable. So from the minute I put them on, I'm impressed with them. I will say that these run a little large on my foot. So it might not be the same way for all of you out there, but I ordered a size 10, which I usually wear in every other boot. And these are a tad large. Now, I don't know if I'm going to send them back and get a 9.5. I'm probably just gonna stay with the 10 because it's not that big of a deal, but it's definitely a little larger than I'd like. So uh, another awesome thing is they throw in an extra set of laces in the box. You know, no other boot manufacturer does that. Um, these boots are a great value at $98, or I think it's $98.88. I mean, kill me over a couple cents, but uh, they are very, uh, they're very good for the value. Um, <laughs> I really like, I know I'm sponsored by Rock Rooster and I'm a fan boy, but man, I, I just don't have anything bad to say about any of their boots. Um, the one pair of boots I have have like 5 million steps on them, plus I have stopped keeping track um, and they're absolutely bulletproof. Um, they are starting to wear on the toe a little bit, but naturally like you do 5 million steps in them, uh, you're definitely going to tear them up. So I've always liked the soles of the boot. Um, if this is your first Rock Rooster review of mine, um, these soles are abrasion resistant, oil and slip resistant. Um, it's hard to keep this white uh, welt here. Uh, it's hard to keep it uh, nice and white. I mean, even with me, uh, you know, just walking around, I've got these black marks on the back. So if you're really particular about your boots and keeping them clean, these bad boys are hard to do, but I have done a video on how to clean these. I'll, I'll link it up in the top right here so you can go over to that video. I'll probably even put it in the description below, but uh, this boot is absolutely outstanding. Um, I, we need to weigh these, so I need to go get the scale. I'll be right back. I have arrived, okay. So I went ahead and got, while well, I was in the house, I went ahead and brought out the Thoroughgood uh, composite toe work boot, this six inch boot. Um, this is probably the best comparison I have, but this is composite toe, so it's gonna add a little bit of weight. But I wanted to show you guys a comparison here. 
kind of fair comparison. So these bad boys weigh two pounds, one ounce. So you're carrying four pounds, two ounces on your feet with these, um, which I don't have a problem with. That's usually pretty darn good. But these boots come in at one pound, 14 and a half ounces. So 16 ounces in a pound, they are three ounces lighter than the composite toe. So um, they're a little bit heavy for what they are, uh, but they're not a absolute, uh, you know, disappointment in that category. Um, I don't feel that they're heavy on my feet. Um, they really just, they wear very well. Um, you're not going to have them wear out your knees. You're not going to get fatigued from walking around in them all day. I've put about 20,000 steps on these. So uh, if you're new to the channel again, uh, I do a 1 million step update in these boots. So it takes me about 60 to 70 days to walk 1 million steps in these boots. So uh, in about a month and a half, you're going to, or uh, sorry, two months, in about two, two and a half months, you're going to see a review come out on the 1 million steps. So if I were to wear them every single day, I could probably do it in about 50 days um, when I average about 20 to, or sorry, two, two man, I am tongue tied tonight. Um, I usually do about 20,000 to 24,000 steps a day. So I could probably do it in about 50 some days, but I don't wear them all around. Um, actually right now I got my Hey Dudes on. So um, a little plug for Hey Dude, not sponsored yet. But uh, I know you guys want to just get down to uh, me putting the boots on my feet, lacing them up and just seeing how they look like in uh, maybe a pair of jeans. So let's kick it on over that. All right, so let's go ahead and put these on my feet here. I don't have boot socks on right now. Um, I've got some Kane 11 socks on. Um, if by any chance you're looking at Kane 11 socks, um, I'll save you the review and uh, just don't buy them. Talk about a thin synthetic sock that feels like a dress sock. You know what? I think I should go get my boot socks. But you get to see my hairy legs. <laughs> and uh, let's go ahead and lace these bad boys up. The shoe or the boot laces are a little long. Um, if you're a cuffer, I'll cuff that side for you. And it's like a fashion show here. So they could have come with a um, a little bit looser, or sorry, a little bit shorter of a lace. It is what it is. If you're not a cuffer, I'll leave it like that. So you can see um, both ways. So they look pretty good in jeans. Um, they look stylish. I like the mock toe design. The mock toe is just um, one of those things that have always appealed to me. Um, they look pretty good. Uh, hear my old knees cracking? Wow, uh, must be getting old. Um, they're really comfy, man. I cannot tell you uh, just how comfortable these bad boys are. If you're, if you're thinking about ordering them and you're thinking, well, hey, they're 98 bucks, well, guess what? Go down below in my description. I got a 20% off discount code. Go to Rock Rooster, use the link, use the coupon code, Durban Compound 20 and get 20% off these bad boys and then quit crying about it. Get them shipped to you, put them on your feet and I'm telling you, you're going to be impressed. Um, these hold up, they're comfortable. Um, you just need to suck it up, cry once or buy once, cry once and put them on your feet. You're not going to regret it, I guarantee you. And uh, yeah, enjoy them. All right, let's wrap this video up. All right, guys, so if you are seriously considering a pair of these boots, not these boots, if you're considering a pair of these Rock Rooster boots, the AP838s, I highly recommend them. Um, I haven't found a boot that I don't like from Rock Rooster. Um, they are all well-built. These are made in China, if you care, but um, they are built for comfort and they're built to last. Um, I haven't worn out a pair yet, and uh, we're going on a, a year and a half, so um, I definitely, have nothing but good things to say about these. Give my video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. And if you're not subscribed to the channel already, well, you better click that subscribe button because we're doing reviews and stuff like this all the time. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.